Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. So appliances that consume a lot of energy become extremely dangerous fire hazards when you plug them into a power strip. When the two plugs in a wall outlet simply aren't enough to power the lights and gadgets we need to run our lives, most of us turn to power strips. But while it's okay to use these gadgets to charge smartphones or power an entertainment setup, there are some power hungry devices you should never plug into a power strip. I'm going to list what those are coming up next. While some of these are common sense, at least you think they are, many don't follow this and one of the reasons they leave their house and come home to a fire. In fact, this is one of the leading causes of fires per year and they definitely can be avoided. So first up are refrigerators. Now large appliances like refrigerators require a lot of power and frequently cycle on and off, which can easily overload a power strip. These devices should be plugged directly into a wall outlet that's dedicated solely to powering the appliance. If you try to plug additional appliances into the same outlet, you risk tripping the circuit. Second is the microwave. Now the microwave is a miracle of modern food preparation, thawing, cooking, reheating food in a fraction of time it takes a conventional oven, but all of that marvelous activity requires more energy than a power strip can provide. Like a conventional electric oven, the microwave should have its own dedicated power outlet. Third, coffee makers. You may not think that your morning cup of joe requires that much energy to brew, but most coffee makers need quite a bit of amperage to turn those roasted beans into a hot beverage, so plug your coffee maker directly into the outlet. Fourth are toasters. Now, if you've ever looked into a toaster to remove a particular stubborn piece of broken crust, you know that the inside is basically just a bunch of wires that heat up to red hot temperatures to toast the bread. The current draw that those wires require can easily cause a power strip to overheat. The same issue affects toaster ovens, electrical skillets, and waffle makers. Fifth, slow cookers. Now you might think you're quite a sly cook when you plug your slow cooker into a power strip to free up outlet space for other countertop appliances, but you'd be wrong. Now these cooking appliances require more juice over a longer period of time than a power strip can handle. And because the appeal of a slow cooker is that it can operate without supervision, you definitely want to make sure it's safely plugged into a wall outlet to avoid any hazardous outcomes. Six, hair care appliances. Now, it takes a tremendous amount of electricity to power your hair dryers, curling wands, flat irons, etc. To prevent the circuit breaker from tripping, any hairdressing accessory that operates with heat should be plugged directly into a wall outlet and preferably a GFCI outlet to avoid the danger of accidental water exposure, which is a common bathroom hazard. Seven, air conditioners. Like heaters, portable air conditioners are designed to cycle on and off and they draw a large amount of current when they switch on. This activity can overload a power strip and either trip the circuit breaker or cause dangerous overheating. For that reason, these appliances should always be plugged into a dedicated outlet. Eight, sump pumps. Now, a sump pump is often the last defense for a dry basement in the event of flooding, and because most power strips are not designed to be used in damp or wet conditions, they're unsuitable for use with a sump pump. Instead, plug a sump pump into a GFCI outlet, preferably one installed a few feet above the floor in case your basement space floods. Nine, air compressors. Now, portable air compressors are handy household helpers for DIYers, but they draw a huge amount of energy on startup. Rather than overloading a power strip, use a heavy-duty extension core to get the maximum use and benefit from your air tools. 10. Another power strip. Now, power strips are not meant to be used in conjunction with another power strip. In fact, plugging multiple power strips together, which is known as daisy chaining, violates most fire safety codes and can quickly overload your electrical system. And for the same reason, avoid the use of extension cores with power strips. If you find yourself short of outlets, try unplugging one device before you plug another one in. 11. Blenders. Now, just because an appliance is small doesn't mean it's safe to plug into a power strip. In fact, many blenders, including those made by Ninja and Vitamix, use powerful motors for chopping up tougher foods, and as a result, they can use up to 1,500 watts, putting them on par with some space heaters, toasters, and air conditioners in terms of wattage used. Since the purpose of a blender is to liquefy foods, there's also the danger of getting liquid on the power strip, which could cause it to short circuit. So all Always plug a blender directly into a kitchen GFCI outlet. 
12 washing machines. Now, most washing machines use a max of up to 1400 watts, putting it dangerously close to the max load of most power strips. Washing machines are usually left unattended while they wash your clothes and can take up to an hour or more to complete a cycle ample time for it to overheat a power strip. Instead of using a power strip, plug that washing machine directly into its intended wall outlet. 13. Portable heaters. Now, most portable heaters use 1500 watts of energy on their high settings, and when plugged into power strips are especially dangerous because they often run for extended periods of time. While portable heaters have built-in safeties that shut the unit off if it begins to overheat, it won't prevent the power strip from overheating and potentially causing a fire and tripping your breaker. 14. Power tools. Now, you can safely use a power strip for power tools in your workshop, but not any old power strip will do. Make sure you use a 220-volt power strip that's equipped with grounded outlets. Now, this type of power strip should also use heavier 14-gauge wire between the strip and the plug, which can carry a greater load without heating up. Using a higher rated right power strip is especially important if you're using electric tools that consume higher wattages such as table saws, circular saws, and chop saws. Finally, number 15, gaming equipment. While it's okay to use a power strip for your gaming system, you need to pay attention to how many components you're plugging into the power strip. While your gaming computer may only draw about 500 watts, you'll also need to plug in a monitor, speakers, lamps, other accessories. Tally up how much you're plugging in by consulting the stickers on each of these devices, and make sure that total is less than the power strip's wattage rating. Since you'll want to protect these sensitive devices from power surges, go with a power strip that functions as a surge protector as well. So in closing, wherever you're using a power strip, pay careful attention to its maximum wattage that's found on the device's label. Make sure the device you plug into it does not exceed that amount. Now, most power strips are 15 amps, which means they can handle up to 1800 watts. If that isn't powerful enough for your needs, seek out a heavy duty 20 amp power strip which can handle loads up to 2,400 watts. So guys, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.